for me, that's what drives me in life. There's also a lot more innovation to come. We have total faith in, in the future of the business and we're looking forward to see what you do. <laughs> Hi Claire, welcome to Zach's headquarters in Istanbul. I hope you're having a great time in our company. So we are really happy to host you here. So we have a couple of questions to you. If you're ready, uh, we can start it. Let's go for it. My name's Claire, I'm Head of Marketing and Product Strategy at E3D. Um, so we market across the globe. We have three different main channels through manufacturers, resellers and B2C. Uh, so a different marketing strategy for each of those. And I look after the long-term product strategy, look where we're going to be, where the industry is going to be in three to five years time and making sure that we're developing the technologies that the industry and the market is going to require. Yeah, I mean, E3D was started nearly 10 years ago now. Um, got into the early rep rap industry, meeting Adrian Boya right back in 2012 in the early days of rep rap. He's the chap who is now known as the godfather of 3D printing. So we started making our own hot ends um, based on an island off the coast of England um, in a chicken shed. Did really well, we sold 50 hot ends, made another 50, sold those overnight. Um, and kind of the rest is history really. We launched the V6, which is a kind of market changing all metal hot end, the back end of 2014. And that really changed the market completely in terms of accessibility and usability, reliability of FDM and desktop printing. I was also working in the 3D printing industry for a manufacturer of filament in the UK. Um, and I came along and joined E3D in 2015, uh, which is seven years ago now. There were five of us back in 2015. We've now, we've grown at an average of 30% year on year up until this point, and there are now over 85 people in the company. E3D develops custom innovative extrusion systems, but we also make a standard ecosystem of parts. A hot end is much more than just a hot end. It is all the sum of its parts, including 180 nozzles for just our standard ecosystem. So our focus on the ecosystem rather than the hot end, I think is what makes it successful for us, both for makers and manufacturers alike. It's all about accessibility, definitely. As the market grows, user friendliness and being able to just get a printer out of the box and press print is the way forward. Just like with a, an inkjet printer right now, you can change the, the ink, which is the same as changing the materials on a 3D printer. You can also change the typeface and the font size. And hopefully when we get to the point where you can change the hot end or change the setup of the tool head of your printer as easily as you can change the font, then I think we'll be there. First things first, we're going to be rolling out the rest of the Revo ecosystem. So Revo came to market just a few months ago, but there's going to be a really amazing high flow variant, which is a really new way of doing high flow, high volume printing. We're also going to have Obsidian, uh, which again is quite a novel way of making an abrasive resistant nozzle that's coming to market in about two months time. There's also a lot more innovation to come. I can't tell you anything about it at the moment, but it's safe to say that there's, there's a lot in the pipeline. I love the Z3 personally, but more than just the printers, we really believe in Zacks as a business. Uh, we've been exposed to and worked with lots of 3D printer companies over the last 10 years, and we really believe in Zacks and what they're doing, what their vision is. Um, and particularly the team that we've met today in our visit, but also previously, uh, we have total faith in, in the future of the business and we're looking forward to see what you do. For me, that's what drives me in life. As an industry, we're changing the way humanity manufactures goods right now, every day. The decentralization of manufacture, and being involved in that and being able to have a key part in how that all shapes up is really exciting. We love it at E3D and I can see why you guys have got into the industry too. 
Thank you for your kindly answers. Uh, it was a great uh, interview with you. So we are also really excited to work with E3D. Uh, thank you for your coming us. Uh, thank you everything. Thank you so much for hosting us. Thank you.